Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm back at a place I have been to before, quite a few times. I'm on Rygate Hill for a return walk, just up to Rygate Fort, the old Rygate Fort. I'm just in the car park by the A217 and the bridge, with a glorious view to the uh, South Downs, well, past Dorking down to the South Downs, Gatwick Airport. Really bright and sunny today. The last few videos have been a bit crap with the, with the weather, but beautiful today, absolutely beautiful. On uh, February the 23rd, I think it is today. Yeah, Friday, February the 23rd. So yeah, let's have a walk up to Rygate Fort. Rygate Hill footbridge. This is the earliest example of a reinforced concrete footbridge in the country, built in 1910 and carries the North Downs Way. So we're actually walking past bits of the North Downs Way now, which obviously we've done. Um, oh, it's very muddy along here. I haven't got the right boots on. Um, but yeah, here's the A217 going down to Rygate. That way, going back down to Sutton. And it's really muddy on this bridge, as you can see. old horse block Lovely. so yeah I do apologize I've done videos from Rygate Hill many times um, but it's a beautiful day I just want to come out for a little walk we've got lunch at the sportsman's pub which I've been to many times I think the last time was about four years ago so uh, yeah whenever I'm on the North Downs way I think I've said this before, I'm always thinking of the thousands of years of travellers and their ancestors traversing this landscape. Very interesting. The humming in the background is the M25, which is the route around London, motorway around London. That there, London. You probably won't be able to see it on the camera because it's a fixed lens on the GoPro. But right there in the distance is that there, London, in the horizon. I've always been curious about this little dew pond here. Uh, just by the fort. There's not many uh, little ponds on Rygate Hill around this section. Yeah. Okay, nearly there. There the transmitters, top of Rygate Hill. Here we are, Rygate Fort. Managed by the National Trust. These forts were built in the 1890s to protect London from foreign invasion during a time when confidence in the British naval forces was low. The main time this threat was from is from the French. So just think though, just like 13 years later, they weren't expecting World War I, you know. Um, but yes, I've been here a number of times, but let's have another look inside. Great. My friend Gary shot a bit of his Tales of Albion movie here in this building here. I wasn't involved in that shoot, I think I was working. This thing, this was all retired. It was built in 1890s, I think about 1898, and then decommissioned in 1906. Because it's saying about the confidence in the Navy. The new warship, the HMS Dreadnought, put paid to all that worry. An absolute super ship that was. You can come into this little room here. What was this, a military or just a provisions um, room, cupboard? Probably just provisions, normal provisions. This was the magazine store. Not where they 
they keep uh, magazines. I mean, talk about artillery and ammunition was all kept in these in these little rooms. Wonderful view. Just down to Dorking over there, and then down to the South Downs. It's a bit hazy in the distance, so we can't see Gatwick Airport from here. I think I've said before, it'd be great if you could open some of these chambers and rooms and put exhibitions in for people to learn a little bit more about the forts along southern England. Of course, you've got one similar uh, over at Box Hill. Once again, never saw any action like this one. They're a bit like in, during the Napoleonic Wars with all those forts down at towards Port, uh, Portsmouth, at, um, Fort Widley and all the places like that. Palmerston's Follies, they were called, because they never saw any action. It was... Little store areas here. Quite oh, cool. With graffiti. Well, it's only chalk graffiti, but um, yeah, it's fine. I love it. But yeah, as I say, it'd be great if you could get some of these open and put exhibitions in there. But I think that'd have to be monitored, wouldn't it? You'd need staff or volunteers. So these are all part of a defence chain going up all the way up to Essex. And obviously not much of, left of it now, of course, but it's nice that they've all been preserved. Yeah, 1903, the beginning of the end. And there is HMS Dreadnought. And it was all sold off in 1907. So a very, very short existence. 1898 to 1906. Sold off 1907. This is actually one of the very first videos we did from Rygate Fort with Paul when we were walking. Um, yeah, oh, it's nice. Look the sun coming down. Lovely. Spring is in the air. Although the temperatures dropped a little bit. We're in double figures, which won't happen again till the end of the week. We're sort of nine degrees today, nine degrees Celsius, almost touching 10. But it's fine, it's warm, I'm warm. So there you go, a little quick video from Rygate Fort along the North Downs Way. And another little walk around now for lunch at the Sportsman. I think I first went to the Sportsman pub out, I oh, must have been about 1986, 87, something like that. A long time ago, but and the last time was only about three, four years ago. It's a nice pub. Thank you, Rygate Fort. They say it's open, I think it's always open. I think it's always open, because they're heavy doors to shut. I could be wrong, they might have a Natural Trust member coming around to shut them at six o'clock or something. Because obviously there's no staff here, it's open access, which is great. Oh yeah, I remember people were about, oh, I must have been about four or five years ago, we were doing a walk uh, with Richard Vobes and Kevin and a few others and they pranked me here. They pranked me. They photobombed. They photobombed it. Yeah. You're not open. <laughs> that was a really cool shot. <laughs> These buggers. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Here's an old marker stone. 
Well, stones are very, very hard to, to, to read. So I don't know how old it is. So we're parked up at the Sportsman Pub for lunch soon. So have a quick little walk around before we have something to eat. Here's a wonky Kolb tax post. These were constructed in the 1860s uh, around London uh, for coal taxes that you need to pay to the Corporation of London. So yeah, a lot of them have been really nicely preserved. little road here. Marjorie Grove it's called. I think my friend Joanne lives here. I haven't seen for years. I think actually that might have been her in the car just now with her daughter. Yeah. Bizarre isn't it? She used to be in Hollyoaks. So yeah it goes straight down there. Got Walton Heath over there. A Walton Golf Club. Apologies to uh, Paul and Laura. Who live nearby. Um, this is a last minute decision to do this, uh, to come here. I would have given, come and had a, given you a knock and a cup of tea. Um, it's nice. Yeah. Just a constant hum of the M25 though, but that's fine. This is nice. A dirty chair, but you can sit here and just over this uh, little pond here. G-Pond. They say that parts of the Sportsman's Pub go right back in time and it was part of a hunting lodge for King Henry VIII and dates from 1532. I don't think there's any evidence to support that. I could be completely wrong. That's rather fascinating, isn't it? Obviously he had a big presence around this area, Nonsuch Palace of course, Nonsuch Manor, um, yeah, sorry, not Nonsuch Manor, Hampton Court, all these kind of places, but he had lots of hunting lodges around South England, South East. Whether he went to them or not is another question of course. The sun's gone in. That's such a silly phrase isn't it, the sun's gone in, the sun hasn't gone anywhere. The clouds have covered it, is what you should say. Ah, oh, it's clouded over. It's clouded over soul. I love where all the vines around this signpost. Isn't that great. <laughs> yeah, some houses up here. Nice place to live in it, off the beaten track. Although the M25, as you say, you can still hear it in the background. Yeah. Nice place to, uh, nice place to live. No. Um, snowdrops, loads of snowdrops here. You can see. More nice homes. Mogador House. I love the word, the name of this place, Mogador. It sounds very Lord of the Rings. When I remember when I was a kid thinking Mogador. Mordor. Hmm. Yeah, the M25 literally is just over there, that's why it's getting louder and louder. Yeah, it's a nice property here. Didn't know this was even here. Woodcote House. Very nice. But, like my friends Paul and Laura, I say, what about the traffic hum? Does, do you get used to it? So, well, when you're indoors, you don't really hear it. You can when you're out in the garden and places like that. It's like my friend Gary, you know, he lives on the Gatwick flight path and he said you just get accustomed to it, you know. Which is fair enough. Uh huh, end of the road. End of the road. Okay, well, in that case, we'll head to the Sportsman for, for lunch.
I think. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Rygate Fort on the North Downs Way. A little bit of uh, here on the common around the Sportsman pub and the Heathland and these nice houses. And if you found any merit in this video whatsoever, please like, subscribe, all the normal stuff we do on that there YouTube. And I'll see you next time. Take care.